Hello guys, welcome to Books in Code and the problem that we are going to solve today is shortest path uh, using at most one curved edge. Okay, but before that if you are new here and a person who likes stuff related to coding then you can subscribe my channel so that you never miss out an update. So let's get started. This is the problem statement and it says that given an undirected connected graph of n vertices and a list of m edges in a graph. Okay, and for each pair of vertices that are connected by uh, an edge. There are two edges between uh, them, one curved edge and one straight line edge, uh, which is represented by this double. Okay, so if I have x and y, then I will have one straight line edge of weight w1, and I will have one curved edge of weight w2. So, which is represented by this double means that between x and y, there is a uh, straight line edge. Um, which is w1 and curved edge w2 okay you're given two vertices a and b and you have to go from a to b okay through a series of edges such that the entire path you can use at most one curved edge okay so i can use either zero or one curved edge but not more than one and your task is to find the shortest path satisfying the above condition okay so let me take an example so if i take an example like uh, 0 1 like 1 2 and I have 3 and I have 4 and like I have one more which is this so let's take a uh, weight so weight are going to be like 5 3 3 9 and here's 2 it is 7 now uh, let me draw the curved edges as well so like this is a curved edge this is a curved edge it is also a curved edge this is one more curved edge this is a curved edge and this is going to be a curved edge as well now these curved edges have a weight also which is represented by this pink color so it is having six weight it is having one weight it is having 11 weight it is having one weight and this way is having four weight and this having nine weight okay so what the shortest path that, that you can see here like uh like one path can be uh this but this path is having five weight okay so one path can be this three and curved as four so it is three plus four seven like this now one path can be this one one curved as and this five so it is it has six weight and this path even has six weight so the path with minimum weight that i can see here is from one to four with a straight edge and four to two with a curved edge so it is basically going to give us uh the weight which is three plus one which is four so here four is going to be answer so answer equal to four so I hope you guys got the clear understanding of the problem statement and let me just now move to the solution. Okay, so I'm going, uh, I'm going to draw a graph. So let me take, consider a graph, which is one and two and three and four. Okay, after that I have two more edges. So these edges are having weight like let me write uh, with the black color so it has 5, it has 3, this has 3, this has 9, this has 7, and this has 2. After that I have curved edges as well so let me draw curved edges like this one, this one, this one, this one and this one and this one okay so these edges are also having weight like it is having six it is having one it is having 11 it is having four it is having 11 and it is having one now the first approach that comes to my mind is a brute force approach a brute force approach and right what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to have a variable used this variable is basically going to uh, it is type of boolean variable so this variable is going to tell me whether i have used one curved edge or not or not so whether 
I have used one curved uh, one curved edge or not so now what I will do is I will start from my initial position like I have to find the distance from 1 to 2 so I will start from 1 from 1 how many options I have I can either go to 2 4 or 3 okay so I can either go to 2 or I can go to 4 or I can go to 3 but this is not uh, as simple as it looks I have I can also go to 2 with a curved edge distance so like 2c and I can also go to 4 with a curved edge and I can also go to 3 with a curved edge but when to go with the curved edge and when to not is totally dependent on this used variable so this used variable uh, decide when to go to a curved edge and, and not okay so let me take the case if used is true if uh like okay if used is not true if i have not used the uh the curved edge so i am going to use this curved edge at this point and i am going to minimize uh this value like whether i find with including or not after that if if not used then i am going to i have only one option i can go to the straight line path isn't it there is no way that I can move to the uh, other path. So this is what I'm going to do. And this is about the brute force. Let me just uh, show you the code. So I'm not going to write the code for this approach. This is the problem on the uh, Geeks for Geeks platform. I'm also, I'm even going to provide the link in the description box. So let me just paste the code. And this is the code. So let me just run this code. And I will tell you what I'm doing in this code. As you can see, I have a boolean used variable and I'm checking here. If I have not used uh, the curved edge, then I'm going to use the curved edge or not use the curved edge. And I'm going to find the minimum answer out of those. So, and if I have you already used the curved edge, then I'm simply going to uh, call the function for the straight lines. Uh, I cannot include like curved edge. So I'm even so also doing the backtracking. Why backtracking? Because if I have visited one, uh, node then i have to unvisit that node in order to include that node for the another path let's submit this what i have done here it is going to give me time limit exceed okay what i have done here i have simply done here uh, the mm, made a graph and then i have called the function i'm going to provide this code uh, in the mm, description box so just uh, don't worry about the code now let me move to the optimized approach so let's uh, remove all this i'm just uh, going to keep this graph on okay now what i'm going to do is let me first uh, write all the curved edges here So what are the curved edges? The first curved edge is 1 to 2. The second is 2 to uh, like 1 to 3 and 3 to 4 and 4 to 2. After that I have 2 to 3 and I have 1 to 4. Okay, so this 1 to 2, this 1 to 2 has a weight of 6. After that this 1 to 3 have a weight of 1. This 3 to 4 has a weight of 11. This 4 to 2 has a weight of 1. This 2 to 3 edge, uh, like this 2 to 3 edge has a weight of 4. And I have one 1 to 4 edge which has a weight of 11. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include all these uh, curved edges in between. And I will find the universe. Like if I include this edge. So is there any possibility that I can find uh, the minimum path? After that, same for this, same for this. Uh, what I'm going to do is like if I have, I have an edge like 1 to 2 and I have to find the distance from A to B. So how I can include this app uh, like this edge. Distance of A from 1 plus the weight of this curved edge like weight of 1 to 2 plus distance of distance of 2 to B. Isn't it? I have to minimize this value so it is basically saying that distance of like if I go to uh, from a 
and it is b and if i go somehow if i go to one with the minimum distance and somehow if i go to from b to two with the minimum distance and after that i'm just going to include the curved edge between so this is one of the distance possible after including one curved edge so is this minimum i have to find similarly i have to run a loop for all the edges so let me write here this is something this value is something which is very important i have to minimize it so for all curved edges minimize minimize if i call it function so minimize function isn't it so this is going to be my main solution but in order to have these distances like how to find the distance of a to 1 and 2 to b so we can either manually do this or we can use something which is text algorithm and text algorithm allows us to find the distance so i will write here like find distance using drag style algorithm isn't it so this is what we are going to do in this problem and i hope you guys got the uh, clear understanding of the intuition behind the solution and let me just now code the solution so this is the problem and let me just uh, code this problem I am going to start with uh, creating the graph. So let me have an array list of array list of array list of integers. So this is how we made a graph for edges, vertex, like weighted edges. So I am also going to have an array list. list of integer array which is going to put the curved edges now uh, let me first do this now I'm going to traverse all the edges so list of integer edge, edges after that i am going to do something which is like calculate u v and w and w2 so this edge dot get zero and v is going to be edge dot one and w1 is going to be dot get two and w2 is going to be dot get three now i have let me first add on um, the curved edge so it is going to be u comma v comma and w two. now since this is bi-directional graph so i'm also going to add like one more edge which is v u and w two after that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in uh, the straight line edge in the graph. So this is going to my first array list, and in this array list, I'm going to add v, and I'm going to add w1. After that, I'm going to have one more array list. So this is how we create a weighted edge graph in Java. After that, t2 dot add u and uh, w1 and now okay. So my graph is created, and now I am going to call the distance of a so i will call it da and the text algorithm a comma n comma graph i will pass into the function and after that i will have db 
has okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to traverse all the uh, like curved edges so in star edge curved so i have the current curved edge and i will find u as b as and i will find the weight as edges of 2 okay now i have to minimize my answer so it is going to be ta of u plus weight plus db of u db of v and at the end return answer but where is our answer we are going to initialize our answer as the straight line distance why straight line distance because we can have like uh we have to include at most one as right so at in the case of at most it may possible that i have not include any uh, edge so in that case i am going to have my straight line distance as an answer so now let me just uh, code this this text algorithm so it will be going to be a in star as text so i will have a and i will have n and i will have n a graph like array list of array list of array list of integer now uh, make on uh, the array first so it is going to my array and i am going to list like this as n plus 1 why n plus 1 because it is basically a a one base indexing so and i have a boolean one more boolean array after that what i am going to do is uh, let's take let's do something which is okay so i am going to have a priority queue which is going to uh, store a pair so now priority queue is going to store so i am going to store a pair so a pair is basically distance and the node so this is what i am going to store in the priority queue and the sorting criteria uh, will be like the sorting criteria will be to choose the distance and in and have a uh, ascending order so i am going to return like a of 0 minus b of 0 so this is what the sorting criteria i am going to follow now uh, what i can do is add on uh, the first starting point on uh, to the priority queue while my priority queue is not empty i have to do some operation and at the end i am going to return my distance array now of the front value which the queue has so it's going to my and i'm just interested in uh, taking but i'm just interested in taking the node value so now i'm going to set to and now i'm going to traverse all the neighbors so it will be like array list of teacher list graph dot get what will i get uh, from you will be your neighbor so if my visited of v is double equal to false and my distance of u is something which is valid like it is not and distance of u plus w t is more than distance of v but what is this uh, v and weight so this v is going to come from here in v to a dot get zero and my weight is going to be a dot get one what one okay so in this case i am going to do something but before that let me fill my array distance with the values which are very important like i'm going to have 1 in 9 initially the uh, the distance will be in finite and i'm going to minimize uh, the distance each time this is what the dex algorithm does and distance of source will be equal to 0 
now at this point i have to do distance of v equal to distance of u plus v and i have to add in the variety to the current node which is going to be distance of v and v now uh, i think uh, i am done with the approach and let me just run this it may show compilation error and okay so it is showing a is already defined don't use a so instead i'm going to use x and y so here i use x and here is y let's check now okay so it's working for the example test case and let me just submit the solution i think it should work let's see whether it works or not okay okay so it is showing uh, the wrong answer for 22nd test case and why because i have to check something if my answer is greater than equal to 1 in 9 why i am checking this condition because it may be possible that there is no path from uh, a to b so this is what we have to check and this is very important condition now let me submit this and okay it's working and this is all about this problem i hope you guys like the solution Okay, so it is showing basically time limit x e pi. Uh, one test case is something that is failing and what I can do is, okay, so I have one better way to do this. Instead of doing uh, this here, what I can do is, I can check here one more condition. Like if a to b is not possible, then I can check b to a, like db of u plus b plus t a of v. I think uh, this should work because each time uh, it is storing the duplicate values like I am storing two times so I am going to avoid that and I am going to check here one more condition which is going to work for me it is working for example test case and let me just submit the solution okay it should work I think let's see okay so it's working and this is all about this problem i hope you guys uh, like the solution so if you like the solution then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you